Hello, this is Alex from the API Portal team and today I am going to demonstrate how to upgrade API Portal from version February 2022 to the latest version November 2022. Now the uh, February version of the API Portal is the last version of the API Portal that is running Joomla 3.10. From this version on, API Portal runs on uh, Joomla 4. So in order to, to do this upgrade from February to November, we also have to upgrade the Joomla. Uh, apart from that, the November version of the API portal comes with the so-called uh, new UI, new T4 UI, and uh, there are a lot of changes in it. Uh, it there's no more the old PUG3 default template, but instead there is a new T4 framework and a whole new uh, default theme of the of the API portal and the whole new approach for building the UI of the API portal. This is done in order to be easier for our customers to customize the API portals. What I'm going to demonstrate actually is upgrade the Joomla, upgrade the API portal and also migrate from the old UI to the new T4 UI. Okay, let's begin. So here I have uh, installed uh, API portal February 2022. Here in the Joomla admin interface, you can see that it's the February version. And in order to upgrade, I have to follow uh, some prerequisites. The first are to disable, the first prerequisite is to disable two plugins. Okay, the first one, so I go to extensions, plugins. And the first uh, plugin is uh, called the T3 Trip System plugin. Okay, so it's actually when you come here uh, to the extensions plugins, you see something like this. Then you search for, let's say, T3. And this is the plugin that you need to disable. Uh, we disable this plugin because the ver because we're going to upgrade Joomla to Joomla 4. And this version of this system plugin is actually does not support Joomla 4, but only Joomla 3. As you can see, we are running here Joomla 3.10. So during the upgrade process of Joomla, if this uh, plugin is, is not disabled, uh, the upgrade process of Joomla is going to fail. So that's why we need to disable it before we upgrade the Joomla. After the upgrade process is finished, this plugin will be uh, upgraded to its latest version that supports Joomla 4 and it will be automatically activated. So by the end of the upgrade process, you have this plugin running, upgraded, and enabled. Okay. Uh, uh, the other plugin that we need to activate, the reasons are similar to the one that I just uh, explained. The other plugin is called API Portal Action Work plugin. We also need to disable it before we start the, up the upgrade process. Okay. The next step is to upgrade Joomla. So for that purpose, we go to Components, Joomla Update. And here we go to the Apport and Update tab. Uh, here you can notice that I have already increased my uh, maximum Apport size in my PHP configuration file. I increased it to 60 megabytes. That's needed because by default, Joomla, uh, by default the PHP uh, comes with um, maximum Apport size set to 20 megabytes but the Joomla 4 package is bigger than that so you need to increase your uh, maximum port size in your php i've already done this uh, this is well documented in our docs how to increase your php maximum port size so you need to do this to increase your uh, maximum port size okay now uh, let's support the Joomla package uh, here, the latest Joomla package that I have uh, downloaded is Joomla uh, 4.2.0. By the time I'm doing this video, the latest version of Joomla is actually 4.2.5. So you can do it with the latest, latest version of Joomla, of course. But the process is absolutely the same. For the purposes of this demo, this is absolutely enough. So I'm going to uh, upload uh, version 4.2. Okay, now we click Apport and Install, and yes, you are asked to log in again. 
so you need to give the admin credentials for your Joomla here. And now the Joomla upgrade process begins. Okay, the Joomla is now upgraded to version 4.2. Now, at this moment of the upgrade process, we have API portal version February 2022 and Joomla version version 4.2 now at this point the api portal won't be working because it's an older version of the api portal running on newer version of Joomla. So that's okay uh, now we need to run the api portal upgrade so i have previously downloaded the uh, the november uh, upgrade package and untar this package uh, so I just need to run the API portal upgrade script. Okay. Now the actual upgrade of the API portal RPM is happening. And when it's finished, then we will be running the latest November API portal. The two plugins that I disabled before the uh, beginning of the process, they will, you'll see now that they are activated. Okay, the upgrade finished successfully. So let's go and refresh here. Uh, we need to login again. That's normal because during the upgrade, the sessions, all active sessions are destroyed. So here you can see that in plugin section, system plugin section, because it's Jumo 4 now, the menu looks different. Everything looks different, of course. Here, as you can see, the API portal action work is now enabled. And the other plugin was T3. It's also enabled. Now we have, uh, let's check what actually, sorry. Mm. Extensions, manage extensions. Okay, let's check what version of the API portal are we running. As you can see, we are running, sorry. Let's search. As you can see, we are running the November version of the API portal. So we have Jumo upgraded, API portal upgraded, and if I refresh here, it's still the old UI, so that's normal. We haven't yet migrated to the new UI. Now, in order to do that, uh, we need to follow a process. It starts with changing the template styles. So we go to system, site template styles. So far, it's the PureG3 default style, which is uh, selected as a default one. We need to to change it to this one to T4 default. Okay, so we make this template style default our default one. Then we go to menu section. You see that you have main menu which was here from your previous version from February version. It is duplicated and it, the the copy of this menu is called main menu T4. You also have user menu T4. And you have another menu called Lego. So there are new menus that appeared here after the upgrade. That's absolutely normal. And they are needed in order to migrate to the new UI. Now, the first thing we need to do is to uh, go to the main menu T4. So the copy of the main menu. And we need to, this home menu item, we need to make it an official home menu item of our website. Before that, it was the home menu item of the main menu that was marked as home. But now we need to make this main menu T4 the active menu of the site. So first we make its home menu item the home uh, menu item for the website. And then we mark all of them 
as you can see by default they are not unpublished so we need to publish all of them we mark all of them and publish them in the same time we unpublish the old menu items here so you can even delete them but um, I don't recommend to do that it's better to just unpublish them because you have some configurations in your menu items that you might want to also migrate later in the newly configured modules that comes with this uh, November release so you better not delete those menu items you won't be using them anymore but better do not delete them but just unpublish them the next thing is that we go to user menu t4 and also mark all of them and publish them this legal menu item of its menu items are already published so you don't have to do anything here now we need to change the alias of those menus so we go to menus manage and you can rename this one to something like for example main menu out this is just for for the purpose of um, you know what is this unpublished menu item so that you keep track of your menus something like this so you can rename it as you wish but what is important to rename is this one uh, the main menu t4 now it's important to delete the dash t4 suffix here and leave it just like this main menu uh, here also it's not mandatory but again it's good for the visualizing purposes to rename it to main menu okay save and close then do the same thing with the user menu t4 delete the t4 uh, dash t4 uh, suffix also here save and close at this point your my upgrade and migration process is finished now optionally if you wish you can do the following that's optional step it's not mandatory oh sorry not here um, you can go here to the new main menu and you'll notice that all your menu aliases have this t4 uh, suffix if you wish optionally you can go and edit your menu alias by deleting t4 that's an optional step not mandatory it's just for the purposes of your urls to look better yeah uh, that's normal this error is normal uh, because uh, remember we unpublished the old main menu but it still has has those alias and because this is a valid alias now Jumo complains and do not allow to change the alias to, to something that already exists so in order to do that you also have to to go to the main menu out and change this alias as well to something like this out and then we will be allowed to go to the new main menu and change uh, the alias by deleting the dash t4 suffix this is again not mandatory it's an optional step you have to do it for all the menu items and it's just for the purpose of having a better looking urls nothing more now if i go here and refresh tada you see that the api portal looks completely different and that's the new default team of the api portal i have uh, configured my api manager so i can actually log in here to show you to quickly walk you through some pages of the api portal to see how they are looking right now okay so as you can see it looks very different right now the api portal so this template is uh, built with a whole new approach uh, with the approach of using Jumo models that's a topic for another video 
it is well documented in our docs. We encourage you to use this new UI and to use this new approach because apart from the Joomla models, it's also using the something that is called T4 Page Builder, which allows you to more easily customize your pages from the Joomla admin interface. So I strongly recommend you migrate to this new UI and start using these new features of the API portal. Uh, again, uh, they will be described in more details in other videos and it will they will be well described they are well described in our docs but uh, for this video uh, that's all thank you for watching and uh, bye bye